It says turbo right on the top of the compressor housing, just in case you didn't know what it was. I had no idea what it was. Actually, I thought it was a piece of junk, but apparently it's a turbo. I'm gonna show you a modification that I did to a turbo that was just bought on eBay or Amazon, not sure which, but this is a copy version of a Garrett turbo. And originally it was made to copy something similar to the GT3071R. So I took this turbo and I upgraded it to a GTX 3071R and machined the compressor housing. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this turbo to give you an idea of what you can do with a turbo like this if it does have problems and you wanna try and salvage it. Here's a quick look at what the exhaust housing looks like. It says that it's a 0.63 on the outside. That's not true. It also says that it's a 0.58 on the inside. I think this is actually uh, like more like a 0.48. I'm not gonna end up using this housing. The wheel it's machined for is bigger than the wheel that I'm trying to put in this turbo. So the turbine housing will be too big already, so it's not really machinable. The size here for the wheel is 56.8, but the size I need for the wheel is about 55.8. So there's about a millimeter difference there. So this piece is gonna be tossed, and we're gonna try and replace that with a five bolt flange housing that's designed directly to fit the ball bearing GT3071R. For this turbo build, we just we built the whole cartridge. So all these parts were from us besides this compressor housing. I had an extra plate laying around. I'm gonna try and start stocking these plates again. This adapter plate is a TO4E ball bearing adapter plate. So if you have this adapter plate, you can use any TO4E style compressor housing and machine it for this cartridge and be able to convert it to ball bearing. So that applies to the, the Precision 6262, 6766, and 6466. This compressor wheel measures uh, 54 by 71 millimeter. So the GT3071R is just 53.11 by 71 millimeter. So it's a, it's a little different and it's taller and it's got the billet compressor wheel 11 blade so this is like a gen 1 version this compressor housing is anti-surge so i th think that's a pretty nice feature it says turbo on it in case you didn't know what it was and it also says ar50 but that could be a lie too it could be an ar60 i think this turbo will work pretty well with the cartridge I designed for it. It may have worked okay before, but I don't, I don't really know what was wrong with this turbo. I just know that I'm just supposed to upgrade it. So here's what it looks like. 